Okay. Focus, Jack. Focus. Focus, Jack. Focus. Stutters were getting bad. Be shifting back and forth without warning. At the time, I didn't think it'd get much worse. But we both know it did. Close, Jack. Huh. It's like a goddamn maze in here.
Beth had been on her way to Mimi. I expected she was frozen somewhere up there, by the side of the dry dock.
don't do anything stupid. I've never been a great listener. Well, time to start. Get in. What if I don't trust you? Then shoot me. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm taking the van. That's for not listening to me back there. Ow. You want to stop time from breaking down? You need my help. And thanks, by the way, for the plus one in the back seat. I'm starting to feel like goddamn babysitter. She scares me, Jack. My ride, my music. Deal with it. I love this song. What led you to the swimming hall? Oh, Will said there was something important in his briefcase. All I found was a key with Bradbury swimming hall on the chain. Only lead we had. I guess this is it. What was your brother doing in this shithole? Perfect place to hide something you don't want found. I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that can stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it, but I know Monarch doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. I like the way their pants fit. I agree. I had to create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. We need to find your brother's countermeasure. And fast. Things will get worse as the fracture progresses. And Monarch will be turning Riverport over looking for you. Locked. Jack, that key you got from Will's briefcase. You got some better solution other than, you know, unlocking the door? Hmm? Sorry, a lot going on. Okay, I'm gonna find another way in. How you holding up? I've been better, but at least Monarch's feeling the heat. I checked online, big anti-Monarch protests going on all over the city. I took some crazy pictures to fuel the fire, man. <sighs> Just... Hold off on posting anything for now, okay? All right, but I'm getting antsy. The key doesn't fit. Any ideas how to get inside? The whole building's falling apart. There's got to be an opening somewhere. Can you find a way in, Jack? We shouldn't stay out here. There's no way in over here. Hurry up, Jack. We need to get inside.
Hey, Nick. This looks a lot like your taxi. Can't be. I parked it way back at the... <laughs> Holy shit! That's my goddamn license plate. How the hell did it get here? I don't know. I have a feeling somebody beat us here. This is all connected. Some kind of message. Think, Nick, think. Zero, one, one, two, two. Zero, one, one, two, two. Numbers, teleporting taxis, math. What is this? Hey, I think I found a way in. What? I looked up the zip code 01122. It's located south of here. I left my car at the university. It ended up here. It went south. Now you said time is like broken? What if space is broken too and everything is being pulled towards this zip code? 01122. Can we backpedal a bit? What about your cap? <laughs> okay. I'll explain later, honey. I gotta Google this. <coughs> Something you want to say, Nick? You work for Monarch. Have you ever heard of the zip code theory? No. Okay. What would you do if I told you that all of Monarch's plans may be centered around the numbers 01122? I would go on living my life, probably with slightly less respect for you. Hear me out. <laughs> 2010, 1999. Both years show up in Monarch files. Minus 1999 from 2010, 11. Times 11 by 2010, flip it backwards, what number do you get? Remind me why I saved you? <laughs> Whatever. I posted the theory on a forum and already got 13 likes. <coughs> hey, my buddy Matt just texted me. Can I text him back? No. Just to say I'm okay. No. 
smiley face? No. Oh. Damn it. These stutters aren't going away. Will had used the building to hide away his personal items. Okay, May 17th, 1998. This is William Joyce, and I'm about to conduct the first animal test of the machine prototype using my trusty pet mouse, Schrodinger, in order... Where... Come on, Will. What do you go? want me to find here? Shit. Come on, Schrodinger. Come to Willie. Come on, come on, come on. You're okay. You're all right. You're all right. Okay, finally, we're sending Schrodinger into the machine clockwise through the corridor, which will send him five minutes into the future, meaning he will reemerge exactly five minutes after he enters the machine. It has now been three minutes. No sign of Schrodinger. This is a very good sign. Two minutes to go. Okay, so, yeah, turns out he just kind of sat inside the corridor for five minutes, took a shit on the tubing. This reveals a very clear flaw in my test. My mouse is an idiot. Okay, the machine is warming up again. Should be able to activate test number two in around about five minutes and 15 seconds. It's now clear the only quantifiable test will be travel to the past. The machine is now calibrated to send Schrodinger five minutes into the past, which means that he will now be traveling counterclockwise through the corridor, and when he comes out the other... Holy shit. Holy shit, it worked. This... this is clear proof that it's... Uh, what, I'm, what I'm now looking at is a future version of the same mouse that has successfully traveled five minutes into the past. Schrodinger, meet future you. We need to we keep need our to contact, contact limited, limited from this point forward. forward. I'll find I'll you when the countermeasures counter complete. complete. No wonder you are always coming up with crazy shit. $12,000 moving bill. He must have hauled a lot more to this place than just some old boxes.
What the hell were you doing here, brother? Time travel experiments with rats? You owned this place since 1999? Why didn't you tell me, Will? This is Bobby Radford with the latest. We've got an official statement from Monarch Solutions, and <laughs> it's just what you'd expect, really. You know, your typical slick, mealy mouth bullshit. I'll sum it up for you. As far as they're concerned, the whole thing was some kind of an accident with the premature demolition. Some lives were tragically lost due to that. They're investigating. Essentially, they're saying, no comment, don't worry about it. Nobody has access to the site right now. All we know is what they tell us. Thing is, there were a lot of people there. Some people I know personally. Seems to me a lot of folks ain't answering their phones now. So what's that mean, huh? I think it means that we... So what am I saying? Well, they got lots of lawyers, so I'm not saying anything. Other than this whole thing stinks to high heaven. I don't understand it, but I can smell a goddamn rat. This shouldn't be happening. This is Riverport, USA, damn it. Not some third world hellhole where nobody gives a crap. Somebody's gonna have to take responsibility here. Who's it gonna be, huh? Call me up on the phone now. I wanna talk to you. Let's talk about a cab driver named Nick Marsters. Where is he? Why is he helping you? You tried to kill him. I don't think you like that. What does he know about? Well, he was the only one I got there in time to save. I saw that room. 
the bodies. None of the witnesses from the university got out alive. Let's focus on- No, you fucking killed them. All of them. You went too far. Seeing those bodies changed everything. I knew I had to stop it. Stop it from ever happening in the first place. Nick Marsters, where is he? Fuck you. I think it's time to take a break. October 9th. William Burke fucked the rescue operation. Put him on the trail of the lifeboat to buy some time, make sure he didn't find out what I'm really up to. Oh, Jack's gone. Disappeared while I had a goddamn gun to my head. Tried to contact him, but he's out for blood. Dealing with goddamn amateurs. This isn't how this was supposed to go. She never told me the fracture would start at the university. I could have stopped it, avoided all of this. Why didn't she warn me? She knew that this would happen. Why the hell didn't she warn me? Working on it. Thinking of swimming there or what? Come on, let us in. Yeah, just hold on. clear that he'd been working with Beth in the past. Made me wonder what else she was hiding. July 4th, 2010. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it, and the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken, shit. Safe, empty. I just need to know you have it, because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. Let's try this again. Nope. Let's take a look around. Down here. About time. I already did. Now how about you tell me how you know Will? 
I've never met your brother. I find that hard to believe, considering the video I just watched. What are you talking about, Jack? See for yourself. It's in the next room. This note, it's directed at me. July 4th, 2010. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it, and the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken. Oh, shit. What the... Safe, empty. I just need to know you have it. Because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. 2010. Holy shit. What was he talking about? He recorded that for me in 2010? What the fuck? He said the countermeasure's gone? It's not good. We need to figure this out. Let's keep looking. Help me push this out of the way. <clears throat> Jack, your brother addressed that video to me. I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish. But he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. <clears throat> but I'm hoping this place will help us figure out who. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. Okay, finally. Found a stutterproof pocket. This should work. I... I don't think anybody will ever hear this. But I need to record it. If only for my own sanity. I don't have long until they find me again. The end of time is here. I'm living it, living the goddamn proof. How did it come to this? Where did it all start? I conducted an experiment with Jack Joyce. I didn't listen. I was a goddamn fool. We caused a fracture in time. I entered the machine, was sent to the future. But where I ended up, there was no future. Time has stopped forever. I've spent weeks hiding from those things. They're always searching for me, and I'm not alone. Someone else is here, hunting me. I see her shadow. The machine is broken. I can't make it work. I have to find a way back. Before this ever happened, find a way to 
to prevent the mistakes we made. This was my fault. It's my fucking fault. I have to make it right. I have to find a way. You said you'd been to William's workshop before. What brought you there? He sold our family home to finish building the countermeasure. He never told me. When I found out, I was furious. I hadn't talked to the guy for almost three years. He stopped answering the phone. I figured he was deep into drugs, gambling, something bad. Did you discover the truth? I never gave him the chance. I found him outside that workshop and tore right into him. Blamed him for everything that went wrong between us. I could see in his eyes he wanted to tell me, but I wouldn't let him. It was the last straw, you know? If I'd handled the situation a bit better... Let's move on to the next question. Is that? Yeah, I think so. The second time machine. This changes everything. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, wait. Let's think this through. That's not how it... I can go into the machine like Paul did at the university. I help them set it up. Then we activate the core, put the corridor in place, and set the date. I can do it, Beth. I'm not so sure we can do this without the countermeasure. But you're right. We'll need the machine. Right. Let's start with the core. What? The shit! I saw some kind of visions of this machine in his workshop. He must have hit it here. What is this? A goddamn spaceship? Okay, core controls. Where are they? Hey, Nick. What the hell am I looking at? The time machine. Oh, fuck off! That was, that was totally my second guess. We can't let Monarch know it's here. Do not post any selfies with the time machine. Yeah, I'm not an idiot. I mean, of course I'm gonna take selfies with the time machine. It's a goddamn time machine. But I won't post any of it. <sighs> Comforting. Come on. Let's help Jack find the core controls. All right. I'm on it. You said Will built a countermeasure. What makes you so sure this isn't it? The time machine? He said the countermeasure was stolen. The machine is still here. It's a hell of a thing, huh? Jesus, look at this thing. One guy built all that? No way that's possible, man. It took me five months to build a shitty birdhouse. You think he had help? I'll bet a lot of guys got paid under the table to get this thing running. Hey, I found a map with the entire layout of this place. <clears throat> hey. 
Hey, Jack. You might want to check out this monitor. None of these consoles even look like they're from the 21st century. Guy sure as hell know how to make his life more complicated. You, um, seem to be taking all this surprisingly well. Don't get me wrong, this is weird as fuck, but it beats being back in that room with two asshats holding a gun to my head. Ah, uh, it's fair enough. says the time machine core needs to be reset. Great. What the hell does it look like? A round thing in the middle, I think. Time travel, huh? I knew this kind of crap existed. I've seen this one guy who looks like me all over town. And then I found out that this me-looking dude, Ben Jones or something, he won the lottery. I've always wanted to win the lottery. Coincidence? Yes. Or... Nick is getting pimp rich! Okay. We're ready to fire it up. Holy crap. We're actually turning it on. We're doing this! I want to hit the button! Don't touch anything until we've got it figured out, and then still don't touch anything. Never touch. If you want somebody to test it first, I'm fucking in there, man. My whole life, I knew I was meant for something big, and this is it. This is finally it! Will received a massive research grant in 1997. He'd successfully built the time machine by 1999. But the results scared him. He never told a soul. Okay, gotta figure out where to start. Where are the core controls?
Hey, it looks like I can reset the core from here. Are you sure you know what you're doing there? No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. I'm hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will is leading us to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. This could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. I think the control doohickey's right here. Can't insert the date yet. Find anything back there? No, nothing I can make sense of. <laughs> 